Hi, this is Caroline from So Can She, and I'm here to do another studio chat with you today because I wanted to share with you something that I have been using lately to organize my sewing studio, and I am so happy with it. I am so excited with this new organization system. I'm not sure I'd call it a system, but this new tool that I've been using to organize all kinds of things in my sewing studio, and it has really helped me to feel better about my organization. I'm not the most organized person, but it helped me to feel better because I can find what I need when I want it. These are scrapbooking bins that I got at Michael's, but I also saw them online in several different places, including Target and Amazon, if you don't live near a Michael's store. And let me tell you, these are great for so much more than just scrapbooking. And I only paid five dollars each. So these bins are seriously the best deal on anything in my sewing studio by far. For example, here I have my latest collection of tulip pink fabrics. At one point I bought the half yard bundle of the Pinkerton fabrics and I used some of it for a quilt, I used some of it for a tote bag, I used some of it for some zipper pouches, and I still have a good amount left. And what I actually did last night was I took this case with my pieces of Pinkerville fabric. I have some large, some of them are still the half yard cuts, a lot of them are now quarter yard cuts, and some of them are even just little scraps. As I watch TV with my family, you see here I had my pin cushion and I had my tape measure and I had little scraps of paper and I just made little notes on each one and planned out how I'm going to use the rest of this bundle for my next quilt. So I really love that I have all of my fabrics for this collection all here in one place and they're organized and even if I change my mind and I don't want to make this particular quilt with it, I have them all clean and safe and I can put it away or take it out and it's all good. And if you don't have a lot of one particular kind of fabric, I've also used this, for example, to put a whole bunch of my favorite low volume fabrics together and just keep them together in a place where they're clean and safe. I can see what they are inside here and this bin is not big enough like I've talked about before, when we put our fabrics in the big bins, a lot of the times those get shoved under beds or back in the back part of closets and you hardly ever get it out. In fact, you might never get it out again. So I, I actually open these up and use them. This is kind of like short term storage for my fabrics to keep them organized and together. And I really like it. And for example, here's another one. In this particular bin, I am keeping the fabrics and the blocks for my Choose Joy Block of the Month quilt project, which I'm doing with my This Little Light sewing group. And so I've got here all of the blocks that I've made so far for my Choose Joy quilt. And then I also have some instructions that I've printed up and I have some fabrics that I'm setting aside for other blocks. So it makes me feel so good that I have this whole project set aside and it's safe in a safe place. And if I put it aside for a couple weeks while I work on something else, I can come back to it and I know where all of my choose to fabrics and blocks are all in one place. Another thing that I use these bins are is for my zippers by the yard. I'm sure a lot of you know how much I love zippers by the yard. I think they are the easiest, most economical way to buy the large YKK size 4.5 zip handbag zippers. And you see here I have a whole bunch of different colors and after I have opened the package and I have cut some off, then I just wrap, roll it up a little bit and put a rubber band around it and I have all my different pieces of zippers by the yard plus I have my little bags with my little sliders in here too. I also have some zipper pieces that are left over from projects that I might use for other projects and 
when I want to make a zipper pouch or a handbag, I can come right here and find all my favorite zippers in one spot. And then finally, a lot of you know that I also do machine embroidery and I have quite a large thread collection that I have amassed over the years. And this is a box of thread that I just keep next to my embroidery machine. So these are the colors that I use most often or the colors that I don't want to put away in the cabinet because I think I'm going to put them back on my machine again soon. So here I am able to keep a bunch of spools of thread and the bin is just tall enough that I can close it. Now they do roll around a little bit, but they don't really tip over. So this is just the perfect size to keep, I mean, for, for most people, this might fit their whole thread collection, but um, this just fits the ones that I don't want to put away yet. I'm keeping them next to my machine because I'm going to use them again soon. So as you can see, these scrapbooking bins are good for so much more than just scrapbooking. And you should know that I have bought all of mine and I also have a whole bunch in the closet behind me because I use them, I can just stack them up on the shelves. I have bought all of these for, for just $5 each because if you keep an eye on these at Michael's, these are one of those items that come on sale pretty regularly and the lowest price point I've seen them at is $5. They might go even lower for Black Friday. We'll see. I also saw these same scrapbooking bins on Amazon for six for $30.99, which is pretty much the same price. So if you don't have a Michaels near you or your Michaels doesn't happen to have these bins on sale right now, I can tell you, you will go through six and fill them up with different things around your sewing or craft room and then you'll order six more like six is nothing they probably have 20 total and i am using every single one of them so i hope that you enjoyed this little tip just another way to organize your items so that you can use them and enjoy them and have them clean and organize when you want them thanks so much for watching my videos i hope you will click subscribe to my channel so that you see more of the things that I'm working on and so that you can see my free tutorials when they come out. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.